We now move to Sweden, to Umeå University. We have with us Lennart Johansson, who is the International Coordinator from the Faculty of Science and Technology. Welcome, Lennart. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let's see if I can share the correct uh, slide. Do you see the Faculty of Science and Technology slide? Yes. Excellent. So <clears throat> my name is Lennart Johansson. I work for the Faculty uh, Office of Science and Technology. So I'm going to focus on the uh, offer that we have academically inside that faculty, though I will start with some general aspects about UMI University. And uh, this is where UMI University is situated on globally. It's in the northern part of Sweden, but it's still beyond below the Arctic Circle, which means that we don't really have Arctic nights or Arctic days, but we still have a shortage of daylight during these kind of months. So currently it's getting dark. So it's the fifth largest university in Sweden. We have somewhat around 36,000 registered students. Uh, the, the university is subdivided into four faculties and a school of, for teachers. And uh, a lot of departments, most of them extremely research oriented. And this is a comprehensive governmentally financed university, which means that uh, you uh, have a quality standard that is extremely high. So this faculty of science technology is um, a very broad faculty. It uh, covers a lot of disciplines and these are a brief list of the disciplines that we do engaged in. Everything from architecture and design to engineering and technology with a lot of specialities inside these different fields. For instance, the Department of Molecular Biology and the uh, is associated both with Faculty of Science and Technology and the Medical Faculty. And some of these research centers are having research that are on the outmost the front lines of research. We also have a design institute that is ranked regularly as the best in Western Europe and North America in five, fifth, uh, let's say, for the fifth or sixth consecutive years, it's been voted the best design institute. Um, let's just continue to the different offers that we have academically inside the faculty. And I have subdivided these programs into those that offer a uh, enrollment twice a year or those that only offers enrollment once a year. Twice a year, that would be a start in August or September vice versus, uh, versus uh, in January, so twice. Uh, a year, or if you enroll only once, it's going to be in the autumn, that is in August and September. All of these programs will be two years of extent, though in some ways you can actually cut it down to one year only. That is, for instance, master program in, in environmental science that can be uh, constructed as a one-year degree if you have that kind of request. Um, as uh, my colleague from Finland have already told you, there is some, uh, from, from Linköping has told you, it's an application fee for 900 Swedish crowns. And then we don't have a flat uh, academic fee for uh, non-European students, these will be different from uh, for the disciplines, but in natural science it's the same as 285,000 uh, Swedish crowns per program. So that's uh, for the full extent of the two-year program. Uh, in Sweden we are extremely interested into 
the environmental issues. So the departments of ecology and, uh, um, and uh, biological sciences uh, has a lot of research projects going on with the, the uh, environmental issues currently developing, global warming, environmental change, sustainable living, sustainable economies, and so on. And these three first programs are all involved in these kind of matters and studies, if you are interested in such. And then you have a huge area of chemistry. Uh, we offer three profiles in uh, chemistry where everything is connected to current research and the research areas in chemistry is huge and very much also connected to research inside molecular biology. And these are extremely tightly intertwined. Uh, this is also true for the master's program in plant and forest biotechnology. It's, it, it only enrolls once a year, but in combination with the, the uh, modules in chemistry and molecular biology, this is one of the foremost research areas in Sweden, and it is connected to the Umeå Plant Science Center, which has been voted as the best postdoctoral institution in Europe for uh, a couple of times. And then a newly emerging area where the Department of Computer Science is uh, outgrowing everything else. Uh, and um, this area is composed of artificial intelligence research in computing science, uh, robotics, and statistics. And as follows, we have several um, master programs that all are um, more or less intertwined with each other, even though there are certain profiles that you have to follow in order to take a specific degree. But these uh, programs, artificial intelligence, computing science, robotics and control, mathematics and mathematics statistics are all constructed on modules that are interchangeable. So you can absolutely construct your own profile if you want. And uh, furthermore, they are also connected to the master's program in physics, which uh, has several other profiles, many of them connected into, for instance, computing science. The um, enrollment is once a year and the academic fees are the same as for natural science. And then we have some master programs in arts where the three first one is in design, extremely hard to enroll in. And the most uh, important aspect of enrolling in these disciplines are a portfolio. You have to prove in advance that you have the design aptitude and they are, ha, also have a local admission process, while the rest of the programs use the university admissions.se uh, prof, pro, uh, profile, uh, portfolio, uh, sorry, portal. And um, mm, these are also, unfortunately, a bit expensive. So uh, the um, tuition fee is higher for design, than for architecture. Uh, roughly divided by 10 and you get the sum in euros. So you need a bachelor's degree, but you also have to uh, fulfill the requirements regarding the English language, since all these programs are often in English, as well as the special requirements that are listed in e each specific program profile. And you have a selection process that based upon academic credits, plus eventually the portfolios that you have to submit for certain programs. And you have one application deadline that uh, ends in January 15, it's currently open. And then a second one with the deadline 15th of August, if you have enrollment also in the spring. 
There are some uh, scholarships available, unfortunately too few, I think, but in any case, the same uh, criteria as is for the Lean Shopping um, scholarship program is that you must select the Umeå University program as the first alternative. Uh, the available scholarships here would reduce the tuition fees by up to 100%. And then you also have the Swedish Institute scholarships that is not available for Indian citizens unless you have a double uh, citizenship. Uh, if you happen to have that, it's, um, it may be possible for you to get the Swedish Institute scholarship. So that is the um, direct link to the faculty. I hope that you are interested in finding out more. If so, contact me, please. Thank you very much. Many thanks, Leonard. Many thanks for your presentation. Many thanks for being here, for your participation, and to Umeå University as well.